So the Zika virus is a, um, it's one of the viruses that belongs to the Flavivirus uh, family. It's, uh, it's transmitted through uh, exposure to uh, certain mosquito bites. And uh, usually most actually patients or peop people who could get exposed to it, uh, they don't have symptoms, but up to like 20% of people who get exposed to this virus through the bite of the mosquito uh, get uh, a certain uh, mild symptoms. The symptoms are usually uh, low-grade fever, um, pain in the joints, usually it's the small joints uh, of the hands and the feet. Uh, they can also have co conjunctivitis, which means uh, basically red eyes and generalized aches. The main concern is for pregnant women because there has been some association between uh, women infected with uh, with with the, with the virus uh, and it has been linked to giving birth to newborns with, with microcephaly. Microcephaly, it can be part of multiple other anomalies, but in general it can cause mainly development and delays in, in, in those newborns. People who are at risk are basically uh, the ones traveling to the areas. Uh, anybody who gets exposed to the mosquito and the mosquito warts are basically at risk of getting the infection. And we're mainly concerned obviously about the pregnant woman because of the consequences for that, but in general anybody who get exposed to the to the to the virus or to the mosquito which transmit the virus is at risk the CDC has issued some warning especially for pregnant women not to uh, not to travel or to delay their travel to the, in the to the affected areas in this period because of this risk